My name is Jean Fri. I own a company called 3L Engineering. Uh, we design sports cars and race cars for the international market. About 15 years ago, I bought a liquidated company. At that point, they were building GD40s. I got very involved in the GD40 game for about 10, 11 years. We built um, 170 odd cars, which left the country. And at that point, I actually wanted to slow down a little bit. I wanted to do less, not more. So I opened a smaller workshop with less personnel, and we started to do more bespoke vehicles, something more individual. Unfortunately, that little business has grown again, so we are back up to doing big projects, but yes, I love every second of it. I had a Cobra body shell lying in the workshop, so I put it on Gumtree, and Mashant was one of the first people that had phoned and said he was interested. Needless to say, he bought the, the body mold, but when he came to collect it, he saw what we were up to in the workshop. He was thinking, should we maybe start building Cobras again, but very different. Let's, let's go for aluminium like I had been doing. Yeah, after us sitting here chatting like two petrol heads, we decided it was a good idea. And yeah, that's, that's what's happened. When Mashant and I spoke about the project, I very much pushed for an aluminium chassis and a monocoque design. So not just frame at the bottom with suspension. I wanted to see a tub with alley, and this is not a standard aluminium, it's a particular aluminium, it's 5082. It's a very rigid aluminium. It's not brittle, but it gets used on shipbuilding, petrol tankers, where the unit is permanently twisting. And needless to say, you can't have cracks forming from that. I wanted to use that same concept in the chassis of this car. Something nice and strong, um, but that is around you. You must be sitting in it. I didn't want to sit on a platform. I wanted to feel it around me. I want to know that it protects my legs. It protects my feet. I've got side protection. I want to feel the structure behind me. And then build a subframe onto the front, which then houses the engine and gearbox, radiator, all the other bits. And that's what we've done. I think that when you look at Cobras, there are many people who would tell you they don't want a Cobra for probably two reasons. The first reason is there's very little space in your standard Cobra. It's not a problem if you're as short as me, but if you're a tall guy, you can't fit in a Cobra. The second major aspect is I want to feel safe inside this vehicle. The first thing people do is put as much horsepower as they can into it. And if you think about it, if you're gonna travel down the road at 200 k's per hour, would you travel down the road on a skateboard? No. So I need to know that, do I have protection around me? We are busy designing and we are building a Cobra that you're sitting inside an area where your body is safe. So we have side impact protection. We have massive bars left and right. We're trying to get you deep inside the vehicle. The higher you sit, the more exposed you are. It doesn't help you've got a massive frame but you're sitting so high that the frame doesn't protect you anymore. You've got to protect these guys. So you sit very deep inside the vehicle. So here we have a box, a tube, a safe area for your pedals and your, and your feet. Behind you, we will have a roll bar that actually works. If you do roll this machine, you must know that I'm not going to break my head off in the process. So we thought a lot about making the vehicle safe as well. Weight is obviously always a factor. You can add lots and lots of horses, but if the vehicle weighs two tons as well, it's not gonna work. You could use less horses if the car was lighter. So we want to finish at a ton. If we are gonna be a bit over a ton, so be it, but it's not gonna be a, a 1400 or 1500 kilogram vehicle. You can take a perfectly well engineered vehicle and it can be horrible on the road because of setup. Setup is a very big part of what the vehicle does. At the same time, you can take a vehicle that's absolutely terrible in design and you spend enough hours on it, you can get it to sit pretty nicely. I think though, it's safe to say 
that if you take a well-engineered vehicle that's got all the options to adjust, camber, caster, tow-in, tow-out, spring rates, damping, all these bits, and you put it onto a chassis that is stiff enough, there is no reason why you can't get it to do exactly what you want it to do. If you can play with front anti-roll bar, if you can play with rear anti-roll bar, you can make this car do exceptional things. So one of, the, one of the challenges of building or designing a Cobra, and all Cobras, not just our Cobra, is the wheelbase is quite short. At the same time, when people have a Cobra, you invariably find the wheel arches are quite wide because it's got quite a wide track. You know, it's, it's a stocky car. Stocky cars are not good for high speed. High speed, you want the car as long as possible. So I would say the challenge here as, as for anybody designing a Cobra is to try and get the best ability out of the car at speed. So, so we were forced to have X wheelbase. And then in this X wheelbase, we want to try and put a six foot person in. That's an, immediately a challenge because at the same time, we want to put the biggest Ford engine at the moment. Realistically, the Coyote is very big. We want to put it in and we want to try and push it as far back as possible because we want the weight distribution to be as center as possible. So now we've got big people, big engine, short wheelbase. It was a challenge. Um, we have found a lot of space inside the car. Um, very realistic space. I think it, it would be foolish to say it's a BMW. It's not a BMW, but there's plenty of space inside. We have managed to get the weight distribution very nice. We've got the engine far, far back. We've got the gearbox, obviously, far back. We've got a nice big tunnel, which gives us a lot of rigidity. So yes, yeah, so far I think it's going very well. I'm very happy with the design. Orders of the Marsh Roadster is going to be opening up around this, the second quarter of 2022, um, in which your journey with us starts, where we start with the custom designing of your specific package that you are looking to get, and from interior design, through to the wheel choices. Shortly thereafter, the prototype will be available for you to experience, to witness, and to, to enjoy. So Marsh Roadsters, in theory, is an evolution of a Cobra that came along in a ladder frame or tubular type structure towards a monocoque structure. That is essentially defining the way forward. We're rethinking, redesigning, and questioning everything that once was um, a formidable vehicle to something that's modern, that looks like the Cobra on the outside, but its DNA is still Cobra. But its undercarriage is extremely different, extremely refined, and essentially it puts safety, it puts comfort, puts the enjoyment factor right back into the forefront of where the car used to be back in the, the early years.